Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm going to drop this video real early. I think I, I think I could do it. Um, so I'm recording on Halloween. It feels real good today. I'm getting to finish this collection. Finally finished it off with the final piece. Y'all, when I tell you this turned out amazing. I'm so happy at how it turned out. Um, once we once we get a little bit further, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you on the name. You might see the name in the in the caption or in the thumbnail, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why I chose that name for this character. But you see, I started off with the famous clouds, red background. Um, now, right now, I am painting the skin tone. Um, the skin tone. You'll notice it's quite different from the rest of the collection. Uh, the rest of the characters that I was painting in the collection were um, darker skin. Um, and this character is just a little bit lighter skin, uh, which makes makes it a little bit more interesting. Definitely the contrast with the colors. Um, the skin tone against the white of the clouds and the red already just looks amazing. But once I put the finishing touches on it, it's just going to make it look a little bit better. Come on, game. So yeah, we got him, him in the background. Uh, you already know how this go. Give me one second, please. Enjoy, enjoy them strokes, y'all. Look, look at them, them lines, them paint. All right. So now I'm adding that contrast on there, that contrast of the color black. Playing around with that, how it's gonna fill up that cloud, or not that cloud, that heart. Um, you can see this shape is very, very, very similar to the warrior shape that I did. Um, I painted both of them at the same time, or drew both of them at the same time, so that's why they have very similar shapes. Um, but I, I kind of like how the, the, the shape of this one turned out. Like, I like both of them, for sure. I like all of them in the whole entire collection, but something about a heart. And if you do it right, it's just like perfect. Like, um, I'm gonna show you how I do, I'm gonna show you how to do it harder now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like this is uh, the character. I'm playing around with those colors. Like each each painting had a different color. One of them had yellow as the main color. One of them had green as the main color. One of them had blue as the main color. Um, this one has pink as the main color. So I'm playing around with the color pink in this one and how it contrasts with the color red. Um, that's what makes this picture so calm. All these paintings look very calm. Um, it's not anything too crazy, crazy going on in it. Um, and that's kind of the point of it is for these characters uh, just to be, you know, simple, simple Halloween characters uh, wearing masks. Check it out, check it out. Throwing a little bit of purple in there, you know, I, also to make them all go be cohesive with each other. I've been painting these characters with purple eyes. So, um, of course, this character has purple eyes. Um, but a little bit more into it. So, as you can see, I got a little bit, it's in that melty phase. I'll be adding some detail, actually, right now. Um, I decided to call this character Mona. Um, definitely in reference to the character Mona Lisa. Um just because i've been like teaching uh art lately and i've been learning a lot about like the masters and all these different artists i've been playing around with my style a lot um so definitely oh y'all gonna see a lot more coming here soon but anyways um just the way that like some of these masters will paint some of their artwork and they would name some of their artwork um and how some of their artwork related to them as an artist uh, I feel like this this collection in general, not just this piece, but this collection in general just had like a lot um, to deal with me. Uh, like it was just very personal. I don't know how how it ended up being so personal, probably because I am the artist that made it. But I felt like it captured a time period. Um, it captured some messages. Um, definitely the mask for the Halloween. Definitely the Corona mask. Like. Uh, the whole idea of just like um, love and um, hiding yourself or 
uh, revealing yourself, you know, or who's behind that mask. Like, we're walking around um, with masks on. Some people are actually happy that they get to cover themselves and be in public. But then some people are just like, you know, well, I got to wear a mask, you know. Um, and it's all about identity and stuff like that. Like, this collection, you never know who's underneath these masks. I paint lips on every character. Um, but all you see is just, just their eyes. Um, and you see the makeup, like what I'm doing right now, and I'm adding that glitter. Um, <laughs> glitter the house down boots, girl. Uh, but I'm adding that glitter on these eyes just to, you know, play around with. <laughs> just, just the makeup of it all. All of them have makeup on too, with some type of like, glitter. That's what makes them also go together as well. Um, see, I have to add a couple layers on here of this but once it's set it looks really cool uh, i'm also about to add something to the shirt um but as you see like the picture just comes together like as you just keep going um adding layers adding that contrast um playing around with them colors um in this picture I actually inspired like a really a really nice painting i didn't get to capture it on video but i did a really cool abstract painting with the red background but anyways, y'all, thank y'all for sticking to this video. Uh, it is about to be in here soon. Well, uh, enjoy, be safe. Y'all have an amazing Halloween. And do something fun. Be creative for me. Be blessed. Have a good night, y'all. Peace.